I went into that Abigail trailer not expecting a lot. But also understanding that technically Abigail is a complete and utter clean slate. Because the only thing Abigail ever did was rush at you when he was red and punch you in the fucking mouth. And then if you got real close thinking you can get him, he just heave you over there. But the thing is, is that I appreciate that they took what was pretty much technically, like I said, a blank slate. And they turned Abigail into a walking fucking tank. And that's the thing that made sense. So it's like I saw I saw the heave over the head. I saw the punch. I saw he got a whole bunch of armor. Hell, one of them Della Della machine gun punch he got, that's actually a reference to Mighty Final Fight. So you should go play that. I like what I saw. I like what I see. I don't know if Abigail is a character that I would personally ever play as, but he's a character that I think fits. Is that again, it's like when they initially, when they initially was like, Ab- when the streets was like, Abigail's a character, and I'm like, you got 50 billion people that you can put in Street Fighter, but Abigail, but I see why, because Abigail is just another evolution of what Street Fighter Tribe is trying to do by trying to diversify and not doing the same old bullshit. It's like, yeah, you got to get the usual folks in there, you got to do that, but Abigail was an out of, out of the way left field pick, and I'm like, yo, I like what I saw. And it made sense for the character. It's like, yeah, you could have did this with Hugo. You could have, but you 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 have a blank slate in Abigail. And that's probably going to be the point I drill home is that Abigail, blank slate. The only two things Abigail did was run up to you while he was red, punch you in the fucking mouth, and heave you over his head. And damn it, it did like 60% of your fucking energy boy. Damn it. But see, that's why you do the infinite on his ass, or a.k.a. the final destruction. So... This is going to be interesting to really see like what they do. Because the other news is, is that all this drop off on Ju- on July the 25th. You got Abigail coming out. You got the Bay Area stage. You got um the, um let me see, I think the outfits. um Yeah, the nostalgic costume, Suzaku Castle, the Knuckle Do Gaio outfit. And the ring of whatever, I, th- I forget what it's called. I'm on actually on Capcom Unity because I knew I might have to. It's the ring of pride stage. So, they got that. So, it's a whole lot of stuff coming on July 25th. So, if you got money to burn and money to spend, I guess this is where you're spending it. So, it would have been nice to actually see this. Um, To see this at um, Evo. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you never know. End of the day, it's like this. This didn't take long. They did work with Abigail, and I can respect that. It's like, to quickly get into something that you probably need to hear, because I need you to hear it, the lore that makes sense. Because, let's see. Final Fight takes place in 1989. This is 1996 where we work. 96, like, we're working from 96 to mid-97. So, Abigail got his ass whooped in 1989, Went to jail, allegedly. They forgot about him because he wasn't in Final Fight Revenge. So it gave him enough time, you know what I'm saying, to go back to the Bay Area, get a scrapyard, and then be ha- and have a whole bunch of motherfucking super armor because, you know, we need to give him a gimmick. The thing is, is that we probably not as done with this subject as I think we are because at this point, it's still Evo. They're still competing. So it's not like there's any news or really any information about how Abigail works. And I love doing those videos when I have that information in front of me. So I know what it is that I'm looking at and working with. So when they release that stuff on Capcom Unity or whatever, we'll come back to this. But I just want to just get up and say, yo, I like what I saw. I appreciate that if they, they went to a Final Fight character, they went to somebody they could have done something with. A character that nobody's done anything with. Like I said, he is like, let's see. When you think about the roster of Final Fight Revenge, Cody got Hagger, Poison, Damned, Sodom, Lolento, E.D., um, Elgato, I'm forgetting somebody. Hugo damned and that's the cast, right? And Zombie Belgian. So when you think about the boss roster, he Abigail was the only boss that wasn't featured in Final Fight Revenge. The only boss. So in a game that people try to forget, 
That game forgot Abigail, but Street Fighter Five has it. So it makes sense as a perfect fit to bring all of that full circle when you think about it from that angle. And here's just something for fun, you know, just between me, you, the internet. I'm coming back to Final Fight Revenge. I've been planning it for years. I'm waiting for the upgrading tech because I really want to do something special. It's a, that's why a lot of things don't get done when I think I should do them and why I'm not keeping up with the Jones because there are things that deserve the utmost greatness. I want to put that forward, but there are some things that just cannot wait. So it is what it is. So let's review one more time what this video was. The Abigail pick after I've sat up here thought about it, discussed it out loud with you guys in my head and put those and put those thoughts to a voice. It's Abigail made sense. Because again, remember, in the history of fighting games, remember, we're talking about Final Fight Revenge. He was the only boss that was not represented in that game. Every other boss was, because again, let's go through the roster. The slums, damn. The Subway, Sodom. Let's get the Subway, Sodom. Stage 3, EDE. Rolento in the Industrial Factory. And then Belger. Remember, we just now have representation of not only Abigail, but the, but, um, but the Metro City Bay Area. So see, look. Bringing it full circle. So, so now, so now, next time somebody say Abigail was a stupid pick, you shouldn't have done that. No, for historical purpose, for not even law, for just for the simple fact to bring Final Fight full circle when it comes to fighting games. Abigail, you you have a complete blank slate to do with them. They did a wonderful job with it, and I'm glad we can have this conversation. Everybody happy now? Like I said, when we come back, when they get some, when they get some work about my boy Abigail, we'll go through. The, the skills and the triggers and the punches and the kicks and the buttons and stuff and we'll do that. So I'm going to turn this into a video. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for another installment of Super the Guy Speaks On. Hope you guys enjoyed the work today, man, because I've been putting a lot of it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got, I got something to say about everything. I got just stuff to say. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to play Mighty Final Fight. Been a while since I've done it. It has legitimately been a while since I played Mighty Final Fight. And I really want to. Like, to play the game without being Hagger, losing, and then switching to either Cody or Guy. But if you kill everybody in the first stage with the correct attack, you could be level 3 by you in the first stage. So, there's that too. Think about it. But I'm out of here for real. The one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, that's me. i like to thank Abigail for, you know, making fighting game history and bringing the full boss roster of the original Final Fight. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what Call Man would be like. Like, think about that for, like, that's something to think about. Think about, like, what Call Man would be like. That's Final Fight 3 shit. Juan Juan, you know what I'm saying? Like, eat the dude out of meat cleaver, bro. I'm like, yo, you can do some interesting things with some meat cleavers. But then if you do interesting things with meat cleaver, you might as well bring my boy Saddam. Haven't we had this conversation about Saddam, Rolento, Street Fighter, Cross Tekken? I thought we'd done this already. I thought we did. We, we, we did. But yeah, one more time, just because I want to make sure that I'm just remembering my information correctly. The roster of Final Fight Revenge. Cody, Guy, Hagger, Poison, Elgato, Damned, Sodom, Rolento, Damn Sodom, Damn Sodom, EDE, Rolento, and Zombie Belker. That, you know what? I just want to make sure I'm right because I know I am and I know I'm not forgetting anybody because because it's um because it's um because it's Elgato and not um Hollywood. It's Elgato yeah, it's Elgato and not Hollywood, right? So yeah, it's Elgato and not Hollywood. So mm -hmm, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, Cody Travis, Mike Hacker. Guy, Elgato, Sodom, Poison, Hugo Andare, Damned, EDE, Horace Belter, and Rolento Sugar. 
I had to go to Wikipedia. But yeah, I was right. So again, like I said, every other boss in the game was represented except for for except for Abigail, who is now represented in the Street Fighter Five. So hooray! I'm glad we could take three or four minutes to fact check myself while trying to fact check myself, even though I knew I was right. Just stalling for time. But yo, for real, I'm out of here. It's the one and the only, the trip with the G O D. And I just thank you for joining me for another installment of Triple the Gas Peak Sounding. With that, I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>